Hi, Todd Bourne here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomePage.com as well as the ArcleTexHomePage.com app. And as we look at the weather pattern, you can see the upper level trough, which is just entering the western sections of the Arcletex, starting to see the clouds break up somewhat over the western edge of the region. And that clearing line, as this axis moves through, will also move through uh, in terms of a clearing trend this evening. That'll set the stage for colder temperatures tonight as all of the Arcletex will dip below freezing. Expect lows in the upper 20s to low 30s. That includes 27 in Texarkana and 30 degrees in Shreveport. We'll see more sunshine tomorrow. Because of that, it will be much warmer. Back up to normal with mid to upper 50s across the north, upper 50s, low 60s across the south. In Shreveport, looking at 61, 56 in Texarkana, and 57 degrees for the high tomorrow in Mount Pleasant. Here's a look at Robin's start of Futurecast. You can see that clearing trend moving across the area possible we could see a few sprinkles over the northwestern edge of the area but that shouldn't amount to too much and then tonight basically mostly clear might see a few high clouds tomorrow plenty of sunshine kind of breezy across the region then tomorrow night another week disturbance will produce uh, another band of clouds which will roll through the Arcletex. i don't expect to see anything as far as rain and then as we go through saturday we will see plenty of sunshine across the region to start the weekend we stay clear for much of saturday night as you can see here as we take a longer range version into uh, sunday morning clouds will begin to increase over the northwestern sections of the area notice future cast keeping all the rain sunday afternoon over the northwestern edge of the area and to our northwest other models do increase a few scattered showers further to the south uh, heading into uh, Monday or excuse me Sunday evening so late Sunday Sunday night we will see the rain increase and you can see Futurecast does show that increase in rain for Sunday night heading into Monday morning and we will see that shot for the shower maybe a few rumbles of thunder uh, spread southward during the day on Monday and this is just the beginning this front is going to stall very close to us and with the upper level flow still out of the southwest because of this trough which is going to be developing uh, this weekend over the southwestern sections of the country that's going to keep us cloudy it's going to prevent that front from moving further south and allowing drier air to move in behind it so that means we'll continue each and every day with the shot for some showers and thunderstorms as the main upper level impulse approaches we will see a better chance for some showers and thunderstorms Tuesday into Wednesday. And if we're going to have any severe weather issues, that could be the time frame as we see a little bit of upper level support. This particular model keeps that to our south. Other models do have a little bit further to the north. And then we'll kind of settle into a drier weather pattern by next weekend. As far as rainfall potential, you can see this is one model's opinion, if you will, showing anywhere in the Arcletex a good one, two, two and a half inches of rain <clears throat> will be a possibility with most of that rain uh, falling Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and it should begin to let up as we go into Thursday. So here's your seven-day forecast, and it looks pretty nice for the next couple of days with near normal temperatures in Shreveport 61. 71 Sunday as the clouds increase. Looking at, uh, again, lots of clouds, showers, and a few thunderstorms for most of next week. Highs in the 50s and 60s, lows in the 40s and 50s. In Texarkana, this is your forecast I share each night on V45 during Texarkana First News. You can see the rain also there, increasing Sunday, continuing through Thursday. Your highs mainly in the 50s and 60s. Warmest day Sunday, lows. The coldest night tonight, mid to upper 20s, should warm into the 40s and 50s for most of next week. So all in all, it does look like two days of sunshine to enjoy before we settle back into that cloudy, rainy, and uh, mild weather pattern heading in through most of next week.